May our commitment. May our commitment. To the study of Gogi. To the study of Gogi. Grant us the joy. Grant us the joy. Give it and receive it. Give it and receive it. For our inner freedom. For our inner freedom. May be a maximum service. May be a maximum service. To those we love. To those we love. And infinite others. And infinite others. Gogi way. Gogi way. My name is uh, Jira Lazi. I'm one of the uh, program coordinators for Logan. So I have the uh, honor and privilege to do this with many, many different institutions. And um, I felt like this institution specifically in CCI, I've grown with because it was one of the first institutions that Cortez and I have stepped in. And um, I remember, I don't know if you guys remember when I first started speaking, I was nervous and kind of shy, but I've grown to love and uh, appreciate what I do in Gogi. And so I'm so honored and happy to be a part of this community because that's really what it is, right? For those of us that really, really know what Gogi is and everybody in this room does, this is a community, this is a culture, and we always say it. Every single book repeats it over and over again because that's exactly what we are. So I'm so happy and I'm proud to be part of this. So thank you. Some of you guys know me, I'm a G Rep Cortez. Uh, this, I've been with Gogi for about a year now. Uh, the first institution that I ever went to was, uh, was CAC here. And um, I just want to say that I, I have grown so so much since the first time I, I came here. And I just want to, I just want to thank you guys. Thank you guys for coming. Thank you. I would like to personally thank these G reps because the, one of the most difficult things to do now within the CDCR is get yourself cleared, actually get in, and then there's the driving. I remember calls I would get from these gentlemen. Our car broke down or emergencies or we're here and they don't even know we're supposed to be here or, uh, they lost my ID I'm stuck here but I'm supposed to be there so what these two gentlemen have gone through to be supportive of your culture is uncommon it is it speaks to the heart of who we are as Gogi we go above and beyond we don't let anything stop us and certainly none of you <coughs> have because the road has not been easy in developing a culture and to have 95 of you complete six or more courses when a majority of the courses were in a Connex box that we had a hard time getting to you is absolutely incredible. So these two men stand in a, as an example of what we want you to emerge into when you go home. Increasingly, our Gogi reps are our formerly incarcerated coaches. Now you haven't seen that too much here, but we send up to Pelican Bay, to High Desert, to Ironwood, Chuckawalla, formerly incarcerated coaches. And in some cases, they're even getting brown carded, which means they don't even need an escort. They can meander the halls any way they want. Why? Because we have earned the trust of the CDCR. We have earned the trust of custody. They know that we want safe communities. They know that we want safe environments. And we are here as coaches, and soon to be coaches, I hope all of you, to make a stand for that in our community. Nobody wants to live next to somebody who they're fearful of. Well, I'd be very proud to live right next door to all of our Tangogi coaches. I would know that if I'm on a road trip and I'm over at CAC, that if I live next to a Gogi coach, chances are my trash can's gonna get pulled in, mm. or my trash can's gonna get pulled out. Or they're going to keep an eye on my house or maybe send me a text message. Hey, is somebody staying in your apartment right now? I know if I'm living next to a Gogi coach, I have somebody who has the betterment of the community at their very heart and soul. And this is certainly what these two gentlemen have. g -Rep, um, Cortez is on the final stages of being um, hired as a CDC officer. He will be an officer. And what better kind of an officer than one who's been a G-Rep for programming for two years? Right. He is likely to be hired. High Desert wants him, level four. Um, but he also is considering Pelican Bay. But if we had every single future officer go through our G-Rep program, I promise you these certified coaches and these G-Reps would be able to unite with you in a communication that's important. That's my vision for what it looks like. If your vision is the same, then keep that in mind. Just talk to an officer. Wow, you'd be a very good Gogi coach. You'd be a very good Gogi coach. Because I see that training coming in the future. G. Rabazi is has begun his career as a drug treatment counselor. 
So when he is hired by the CDCR, he's going to come in as a CC1, CC2. He'll work up the ladder from being a counselor and a drug treatment counselor. So again, I want to say thank you to these two G-Reps who have gone really above and beyond in so many ways. So thank you, gentlemen. Appreciate it. has been behind the scenes for a very, very long time, my friend and one of our GOGI board members, Catherine. And Catherine has watched GOGI evolve since way back, maybe 2005 or so. And she asked if she could be part of our board as she watched this culture grow. I'm kind of putting her on the spot right now, but I do want her to just kind of talk about uh, what she has seen, not only today, but in the other site visits that she has Kind of embarked on. Catherine, would you mind? Okay. Oh, sorry. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. 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 Um, the I'm impressed. I'm um, not surprised at the same time that it has become what it is because the purpose of Gobi is to empower others. And I don't know if you've thought about it this way before, but actually the definition of coach is to help someone get somewhere where they are today to where they want to be, right? Coach. A coach is a vehicle to get somewhere. So those of you that have become coaches today, um, I saw very impressive individuals who actually been doing coaching for, wow, five years? Mm -hmm. Up at the other. How, what's the longest standing coach here? 2015? How many? 2015? Yeah. 2015? Wow. 2016. Raise your hand. 2017, 2018, Great. and this year. So I've come a lot, thank you, congratulations to all of you.